Hey everyone, today we are going to be finding the distance between two points with the Pythagorean theorem. We're going to answer the question, how can I find the distance between two points on a coordinate plane using the Pythagorean theorem? So let's talk about why we would need to do this. And let's look at three different graphs right here. And we are going to look at which lengths can I count? So this first one right here, it is perfectly horizontal and I can see that it goes through one, two, three units. So I could count this whenever it's a perfectly horizontal line. Let's look at this next one. You might be tempted to try and count it, but it is not perfectly going through corners like it was with this one where I could clearly see what the units were. So since this one is a diagonal, we cannot count it. Okay, let's look at this last one. It is perfectly up and down and it is really clear to see that it is going through two units. So if it is perfectly vertical, then I can also count it. So we cannot count the length of a diagonal line. But remember, a hypotenuse is a diagonal line, so I can probably use the Pythagorean theorem to find this. Let's read about how we can do that. So to find a diagonal distance between two points on a coordinate plane, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem, of course. The diagonal distance between the two points is the hypotenuse, and the vertical and horizontal distance are the legs. Remember the vertical and the horizontal distances were the ones that we could count. So you are going to count those legs. And then once you have the legs, you will substitute those in and solve for C, which will be the missing diagonal distance. So let's try that on this first one. They want us to find the length of this right here, AB. I cannot count that because it's a diagonal. So I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. The first thing I need to do is draw a right triangle. You can draw it both ways. You can draw it with the legs below the line. That's what I all usually like to do. Um, you could also draw it with the legs above the line. Whatever you prefer, you're going to get the same answer as long as you count correctly. Like I said, I like to put it bef uh, below it. It's just my preference, so that's what I'm going to do. And since this is perfectly horizontal and this is perfectly vertical, I can count my legs now. You have to be careful with counting. One, two, three, four, five, six is that length. And one, two, three, four, five is my other leg. And now that I have the legs, I can use them to find the diagonal distance or the hypotenuse, which is C. So I'm going to plug into A squared plus B squared equals C squared. It was five squared plus six squared equals C squared. So five squared plus six squared is 61. And then I'm gonna take the square root and the square root of 61 is 7.8 units. There's no way I would have been able to count that, but with the Pythagorean theorem, I was able to determine that this distance is 7.8 units. Okay, number two, they want us to determine the distance between point M and N. They didn't draw the diagonal for us, that's okay, we're going to draw it in. And then I'm gonna draw the rest of the triangle. Here are my legs. And now I'm going to count the legs. I cannot count the diagonal, but I'll use the Pythagorean theorem to find it. I can count the legs though. So this one will be one, two, three, four. And this one will be one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I can plug into the Pythagorean theorem. So I get four squared plus six squared equals C squared. Four squared plus six squared is 52. And then last step is to take the square root and the square root of 52 is 7.2 units. 
Okay, number three, it says point J is located at negative four, negative three, and point K is located at five, four. Find the distance between point J and point K. So I need to plot these points. Let's start with J. J is at negative four, negative three. So I'm gonna go left, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three. There is point J. And then point K is at five, four. So I'm gonna go over five and up four. There is point K. Okay, now I need to find the distance the same way I have been. It's a pretty big distance. This time I'm gonna draw my legs above. Remember, you can draw them below or above. It does not matter. You just need to make sure you count carefully. So I really want to know that diagonal distance. In order to know that, I need to count the legs. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to plug into a squared plus b squared equals c squared. My legs are seven and nine. So seven squared plus nine squared is 130. And then last step is to take the square root and the square root of 130 is 11.4. Okay, number five, they want us to find the perimeter of the parallelogram shown. So to find the perimeter, that means I need to add all the sides. Let's see if there are any sides I can count. There are three sides that I can count because they're perfectly horizontal. And there's one side that's perfectly vertical. So I'm gonna go ahead and count those. This side is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This side is one, two, three, four, five. And this one is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I know three of the sides. The last side is a diagonal side. This blue side is diagonal. I cannot count it, so that means I need to use the Pythagorean theorem to find it. So I'm gonna draw a little right triangle here, and C is a hypotenuse of this blue triangle. So I'm gonna count the legs, and it's two, and then this leg is three, four, five. Okay, so I made this little blue right triangle here to help me find C. So now I'm going to plug into Pythagorean theorem for that, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. My two legs were five and two, and five squared plus two squared is 29. And then I'm gonna take the square root and the square root of 29 is 5.4. That's what it would round to, 5.4. So remember the original question, it told me to find the perimeter. I could count three of the sides. I couldn't count that last side, but I just found it. It is 5.4. So now I can add the four sides of the parallelogram together in order to find the perimeter. So it'll be seven plus five plus five plus 5.4. So seven plus five plus five plus 5.4. My four sides added together give me 22.4 units for the perimeter of the triangle. All right, last one. It says the distance between three parks at Disney World are shown on the grid. If each unit represents half of a mile, what is the distance between Space Mountain and It's a Small World? So they gave me some extra information here. I don't really need this Pirates of the Caribbean. I want to know the distance between It's a Small World and Space Mountain. It's a diagonal. I can't count it. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem to find it. 
So one of the legs is just one, and then the other leg is one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna plug into a squared plus b squared equals c squared. One squared plus five squared for my legs, and that'll tell me the c squared. So one squared plus five squared is 26. I take the square root, and the square root of 26 is 5.1. I'm not done yet. It was 5.1 units on the map. But remember what they told us. Each unit represents half of a mile. And it said, what is the distance? So if it's 5.1 units, I'm going to multiply by one half to figure out the number of miles. So 5.1 times one half is 2.55 miles.